Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big Monday on FIFA 22 today because it's 85 times 10 day. And today has to be the day where EA Sports make this SBC unlimited repeatable. They have stretched this thing out for so long and they've made us wait for so long. We thought it was going to be last week. But it has to be today. I mean, there's so many things that just point towards today being a thing. And also, we're getting impatient EA Sports. It is the end of August. Just drop it today. So I'm going to plead my case again for an unlimited repeatable 85 times 10. But there's never been a better opportunity than this dropping today on the game. Now, also for a part of today's content, the last Summer Swaps objective, which could give us eight more tokens. And that actually would put us one token away, 49 out of 50 of the Summer Swaps 2 tokens would be released after today's content, and that would mean we are very close to the end. And of course, those rewards expire, I think, like at the end, like a week from now or something like that. All those swap rewards expire. So the final countdown on the swaps grind is a part of today, and also a huge game in the Premier League with showdown upgrades on the line. Ericsson and Nunez both with plus twos on the line today as Liverpool face off against Manchester United. Pretty big game. And of course, with FIFA implications, we should be seeing some upgrades and it's going to be a very big game to follow along with today on FIFA. So potential for a big day, 85 times 10 swap tokens, upgraded cards should be a lot of fun. I also want to take a look at the grab and birch and the moments player picks that we had yesterday because one of those moments player picks was released unlimited repeatable. And that's a good sign for the 85 times 10 today. So if you're excited for maybe, hopefully, probably an 85 times 10 unlimited today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. That's what I want to talk about first again is the 85 times 10 because like I said, this SBC has now been in the game for like a month and it just has not been released as an unlimited repeatable. Last week, again, we got excited. We thought it was going to be the day and EA Sports says, hold that and only makes us able to do it two times per day when it really would have been insanely overpowered last week during the footies promo. Now, the only thing I have just an ounce of worry about today is, you know how it's kind of everything has changed over from like the footies look to like the preseason look. I don't think that impacts the chances of the 85 times 10 not being released today. I think if they don't, if they don't release an 85 times 10, the whole game's going to riot. Also, if they don't release it unlimited repeatable, the whole game's going to riot. So EA Sports, it's easy. All you have to do is do what you did yesterday. You released a moments player pick yesterday, unlimited repeatable. Just do the same thing for this 85 times 10. Keep the requirements the same and you won't hear a peep from us. We'll be semi-happy because we would have loved this last week. We would have been really happy last week, but we'll be semi-happy this week to submit 87 rated squads. And again, the value of this SPC, which actually, if you take a look at Footbin, Footbin's got this SPC wrong right now. I don't know what happened. It says the 85 times 10 upgrade is two squads, which is absolutely not correct at all. It is one squad and it's 87 rated and it's the 113K price point is incorrect. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but I'm pretty sure in the 85 times 10, since it's an 87 rated squad with one team in the season, it really only costs you about like 80K, 75 to 80,000 coins, right? 87s are like seven to eight to 9,000 coins. You throw a Todd's card in there, boom, you're getting it done for decently cheap. And again, like the value of this SPC, you're getting 10 players, all 85 plus. Now the value of fodder has dropped off on the low tier. So if technically, if you were to get all 10 85 rated cards, you would not make your money back. That'd be like getting 40,000, 45,000 coins worth of fodder value back in a 70K SBC, 80K SBC. But in reality, you know, you're probably packing a couple special cards, even though the 85 times tens are just not as good. And you guys can probably attest to this, right? You maybe have been doing a couple of them, right? You're two per day, right? That EA has been allowing you to do our allowance. Like EA has given us allowance of SBCs that we can do each day for the 85 times 10. Um, you know, they have not been as good because we only have 100 cards in packs right now, but still with that SBC, hopefully getting released unlimited repeatable today, that would just create a very golden opportunity for people in this game to continue to craft. And again, it does make it a little bit less hype. And this was my small amount of worry last week was that EA was going to wait on that unlimited repeatable 85 times 10 until there was less special cards and packs. And that's kind of what has happened. But still, right, there's a lot of SBCs in here that people are crafting. You know, if you want to craft Gravenbirch, Lewandowski, even some of the brand new 
transfer SBCs, um, which we've been getting one per day, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. At least one new player every single day, which is kind of wild. EA, I don't even know if they can keep up that pace, but you know, there's just there's a lot to craft for now. Still, we'll have the footies SBCs. Um, I don't know if even any of these are expiring soon. Like Mendy is the first one to expire, and he's in nine days. Also, I just noticed that Mendy has a period at the end of his SBC and no other SBCs in this game have periods at the end. So very good grammatic. Oh, Salah has one too. I missed that. Wow. Why is Salah and Mendy only have periods? The other guys don't. Nice grammatical error at EA Sports. Anyways, uh, that's that's the bottom of the, uh, the barrel here, right? The 85 times 10 has to be unlimited, repeatable today. No questions asked EA Sports. We're going to ride if it's not just... Do it. It's simple. The, and again, here's another good omen for this. The 93 plus shapeshifter player pick was unlimited repeatable, like we said, right? This is big. This shows that EA know how to do it. Do it, EA Sports. All right, I'll stop talking about it because you guys know what we want. Unlimited repeatable. Don't change requirements. Just release it, EA Sports, and let us craft and let us be. Now, again, like I said, the hype has died with cards and packs, but it'll still be pretty good in terms of the fodder that you get back. And to take a look at fodder just a little bit once again, if an 85 times 10 unlimited does release, will that make fodder go up? And I think that it would make fodder go up a little bit, kind of in your two areas. Your high tier probably would go up a little bit because a lot of people are just going to have to go and buy one big player, finish out an 85 times 10, you know, with like a 93, 94 rated Tots card. I could see those rising up a little bit as people say, okay, I've got the 83s, the 84s, maybe I've done some player picks, open my weekend league rewards, I've got that lower tier fodder, let me just go buy one or two of the high rated cards, finish off the squad, and boom, I've got an 85 times 10. So I could maybe see some of your upper echelon fodder rising up a little bit today, 84s maybe going up two, three, four thousand coins a piece, not that big, but something like that. Also the absolute lower tier, right? Because that's how people are doing these SBCs. And if you take a look at some of these 83s, they're having pretty good fluctuations, right? 83s are like one and a half K, but look at Joao Felix. Yesterday he was one and a half K, spiked up to 2.5, and then went all the way back down. Because again, still people are doing the 85 times 10 and all the other SBCs every single day. Some of these guys are having bigger spikes than SBC fodder. Let's take a look at like Jack Grealish. 84s are like 3K and under. Jack Grealish had a little bit of a bounce yesterday, up about a thousand coins as well from three to four K. But some of the other ones like didn't move. Telemans, let's see where he's usually one that moves pretty well. Telemans went from 2.8 to 3.6. So the fodder fluctuations are not as big. And especially on the 84s, I really actually like the 83s the most. If I had to choose a rating, if I was to club stock some today to get ready for an 85 times 10, I would go with 83s because look, Gabby Jesus 1.6 up to 2.5. It looks like all 83s yesterday spiked at least uh, to like 2.5K and then 84s went up a little bit, but not as much. So I look at your 83s today because probably that same thing is going to happen as an 85 times 10 gets re-released and hopefully again, unlimited repeatable. So that's kind of how I'd expect it to impact the market and then probably just the slight lift off in the whole fodder market in general. The only thing that could counteract that today, and I think we saw it either last Monday or last Tuesday, was a token SBC that they released. It was like it was called like the winning strategy SBC or something like that. I think it was actually on last Monday because I was not expecting it at all. But if you see a pack supply SBC, similar to like a marquee matchups, anything that they would release that would give a tradable pack, especially if there's a swap token involved, that would decrease prices on the game in terms of the fodder market. It would make them go up a little bit less. It would also supply the special cards that are in packs. But again, like I said, regarding the swap tokens, I'm expecting another objective today. So if EA were to drop a token SBC on top of this, which I think is very unlikely, uh, th that would be kind of crazy because again, Summer Swaps 2 is going away. Your last chance for France, which I need to do three games of this really fast get those three wins, hopefully go three out of four and, and get it done. Actually, that's my last chance to do so. I kind of have to. Anyways, um, th the Summer Swaps 2 objective probably going away. It is going away, 15 hours remaining. And then we should get another one of those today, Summer Swaps 4, which would in turn, right now, we are on. We haven't had a Summer Swaps token, by the way, in like three days. Kind of crazy. Um, actually, since marquee matchups, which is wild. But it just kind of shows that EA has been like, they put that on pause. Now they're waiting to release eight more tokens today. And then after that, all they have to do is release one and we're done. We're on token number 41 right now. They release eight today 
take us all the way down here to token 49 out of 50. They release one more SBC, boom. And that is summer swaps to all tokens released. The uh, rewards don't expire until like a week from now. So you have some time uh, to, to complete those and stuff. But I think, uh, you know, eight, eight tokens probably today and then an SBC later on throughout the week. I doubt they release both today. But just kind of so you guys are aware, this is the tokens tracker at this time. We would be at a 49 out of 50 if they release that objective today. And other than that, I, I mean, I don't have other crazy expectations uh, for the content today on Monday. I really think it's a summer swap tokens and the 85 times 10. Now, also, yesterday, we, we've not been getting a couple of these leaks. There have been two cards now that have kind of slipped under the rug of not leaked transfer items. And I don't know if it's something to do with the transfer cards and the fact that they're not getting leaked. Uh, we had Lewandowski leaked. We had Erickson and Nunez leaked. Uh, but we did not have Gravenberch. And we had a little bit of surprise yesterday because EA kind of dropped a sick SBC with this Ryan Gravenberch five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. I mean, remember this guy's Tots card? Yeah, it was incredible. Also kind of hard to link. Now with the Bayern links, definitely easier to fix up in a squad. Only 100,000 coins for this absolute menace of a card. Like, what What are even these stats, right? 1,500 upvotes. If you're a Bundesliga a squad user in this game, or if even if you just run like Alfonso Davies and a couple other Bayern cards, get some strong links in there, throw this guy on your team because absolutely incredible defensive mid, maybe even going forward box to box. I mean, every card in this stage of the game is pretty crazy, but the high and average plus body type, that's pretty big, right? People really liked his tops card. A little bit of a boost over that, but the five-star skills is pretty crazy. That's a nuts card. And with the transfer item, you know, having the brand new links as well with this new team. It's kind of crazy. So, I mean, here's the other kind of part with this. We have had Gravenberch, Lewandowski, Lukaku, Nunez, and Erickson. We have had five transfer cards released in three days. There's no way that EA can keep up this sort of pace releasing these transfer cards, if you think about it, right? Because if this week, this promo is at least going for three weeks because we have right now a squad one preseason 100 squad one and it's out in packs for two weeks so if they're naming something squad one and this is preseason week one we at least have a second week of this coming probably going to take us all the way into like middle september with this preseason promo i can't lie so it's probably gonna be like a four to five week promo like footies was um you know they've got to slow it down because yeah there's a lot of big name transfers and a lot of cards they could release but a player a day that's pretty crazy. So I would expect that to slow down a bit this week. And I'm just kind of putting forward a little forecast for the rest of this week. Later on this week, it might get kind of dead. Even You know, this is the kind of, this is the part of the year where it does slow down for sure. But, you know, the weekends have been when we're getting a lot of the player SBCs. And I think that it could really taper off throughout the end of this week. And, you know, it might seem a little bit more dead. So if we had an unlimited 85 times 10, of course, to help us out in terms of the grindability of content in this game, that would help out a lot. That's why we're just, I'm putting a lot of stock in that today because it kind of has to happen. Um, no other SBCs that are really that major are expiring today. Uh, the hero, captain, shapeshifter, player pick, that's still going to be around. Preseason batch one is still going to be around. Basically, everything is still around except for your showdown, right? And again, speaking of those new transfer cards and showdowns, I've done both Nunez and Erickson getting a double, getting an upgrade regardless of what happens. But today is a huge game, IRL for this happening between Man U and Liverpool. Winner gets a plus two in the event of a tie, plus one to both. I'm kind of hoping for a plus two, all or nothing, right? Because I want to see a 98 rated Ericsson or Nunez, one or the other. So I'm super excited for that today. Super excited for the potential upgrades or um, I thought I sorted by special. Okay, I didn't. Where's my Nunez? There he is. Regardless, right? I'm excited for an upgrade today and hopefully a dynamic image. If, um, you know, whoever gets the upgrade, EA can up update that dynamic image because right now we're just getting mug shots for all these guys. Again, like I said, it's change the dynamic images, man. Like I'm sure there's pictures out there. Just EA slap it on the card. That'd be great if you could because, you know, Lewandowski is nice and, and you know, grabbing Birch is, you know, gold cards were at the beginning of last year. Is this like warming us up to the beginning of FIFA 23 where we're going to get used to not seeing as many dynamic images and gold cards just have the face scan shots? <laughs> I don't know. So that's kind of the vibes that I'm getting with some of these cards um, and all that stuff that is going on at the moment with transfer cards. But also market-wise, again, 
I continue to just click through. Every day I get, I get on like Footbin and check through prices. I look at Ginola and I look at Ronaldo and every day they just continue to go lower. Like Ginola was 1.1 yesterday. Today he is 1.03. Right, that's a that's a pretty sizable drop off. I mean, it is a Monday, and you do sometimes see cards have a bit of a rise. And I want to check and see if Ginola is actually down a lot from yesterday. So Saturday, Sunday, he was 1.1 to start the day. He went all the way down to kind of where he is now, 1.03. Saturday morning, he was 1.16. So yeah, definitely down like 100k. Pretty rare card, Ronaldo 2.3. But you know, it's all about those ones that are in packs. A guy that I'd really be interested in is this Marcelo 451. What did he do yesterday? He was like 499. I mean, I just checked this card like 15, 20 minutes ago and he was still 499. So, you know, I think if you're trying to watch out for price fluctuations, you maybe will see a few cards rise up a little bit this morning. But again, at this stage of the game, I'm telling you to just buy the card, forget about the coins because use the cards that you want to use. And if you're trying to trade and make a few coins here or there, or you just find enjoyment out of the quick flip, like I do, you know, this mark, ooh, 445. Now that's tempting. I can't lie. That is tempting. 20k of tax. If this was like early game FIFA, I'd be all over that because I would be trying to sell it for like 490, 485 to 490, make a quick 20k flip out of it. Yeah, that's actually really tempting me. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. 445. You know what? We're gonna snag both of these because there's a very good chance that I believe Marcelo will be 490 something by the time we get into the morning today on Monday. A little trading motivation from TFA, although we need to spend our coins on player picks and packs and <laughs> not on making coins at this stage of the game but you know maybe watch out for some low prices you know monday mornings we do usually see a bit of a bounce back just because people are you know they get their weekly rewards they go out and they do SBCs, and they just get stuff done in the game so any shape shifter cards you're interested in keep an eye out for those as well but you know monday it's all about the 85 times 10 today and hopefully ea give us what we are looking for because we've waited We've waited over, a, like, feels like over a month for this now. I think it's been a month. I think it was late July or, or maybe the first week of August. Nah, it's been at least the late July because we have had it every two days and then every other day and then twice a day. It's been at least four weeks, I think, that we've had this 85 times 10. And it's it's time to get an unlimited repeatable eSports. So hopefully that SBC drops today. There's still a lot to do in this game. I need to get on my grind of the FIFA 23 rewards. Uh, I did the two SBCs for the warm up to foot 23, but I got to start getting on the kickstart objectives. This is just probably going to be a grind that I do on stream for a little bit because the kick, what is it? Kickstart mode. Isn't this, is this golden goal or no? Kickstart. No, it's max chemistry. Yeah. Max chem. So maybe if people are playing golden goal in that, that'd be nice because I feel like if you're doing that game mode, you're just going for the rewards. So Golden goal would suffice for scored three separate matches. So we'll see. I'm going to get into that today. Um, and of course, probably play a couple of games to maybe get some more swap tokens. We'll see because the grind is slowly dwindling down for a lot of people, myself included, right? Myself included. I have very little motivation for swap tokens because I've already gotten most of the fodder packs. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. But definitely the 23 reward situation. I'm going to craft and grind that up a little bit this week, as well as spend some more coins and on some 85 times 10 unlimited packs to still try to pack some of the big boys. I like all the, all these guys that are here. And Bobby, Ginola, and Ronaldo still haven't packed them yet. Would love to do that this week. So that's going to be the video for today. If you're excited for an 85 times 10, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any uh, questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.